Yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save MIDI. So save MIDI notes, save your MIDI files from FL Studio. This is great if you want to sell MIDI files. A lot of people want to buy MIDI files. Maybe you want to send it to someone else. You want to send it to another producer or send it to your friend so they can use your MIDI. Or if you want to save it on a specific machine, I say you're making something on your laptop and you want to send it to yourself on your PC so that you can continue working on it there. Saving MIDI is very, very useful. And it's definitely something you should think about doing it can also help you just make beats quicker because you can save your midi from old songs like save a bunch of hi-hat midis and drums and or even chords and whatnot and bring it into new songs and just mess it around move it around and have a new song basically or you can use the same hi-hats for different songs like that's fine but saving midi is very very useful should be something that you want to do if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving eyes. So if that sounds like you, click that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content on the channel. You will love it here. Now, let's get straight into this. This is a beat that I made on the 11th of February, uh, which was about a week ago. And... Honestly, right here, you can't see any MIDI, can you? You, can't, well, you see a little bit of MIDI, but generally, there ain't no MIDI here. But I was going to go into like my chords and whatnot, but we do have, you know, MIDI in the drum, so we'll just use that. Like, generally, I don't think of this as MIDI, but it definitely is. So, when I'm thinking of MIDI, I'm thinking of like chord progressions and stuff. Like, that's the, th the first thing that I think of. But hi-hats are definitely something that I would like to save as well. So here we have a hi-hat roll MIDI, an eight bar loop. In order to save this, we can go up here and we'll go to file and we can go to export as MIDI file or we can press shift control and M, which is generally what I do at this point. So shift control and M. And then you basically want to create a folder where you're gonna save your MIDI. I save my MIDI in a special folder there we go midi files so in here i'll go to my hi-hats and i'll find my midi files and i don't believe i've saved this one so i will actually save this right now we'll save this as hi-hats 50 and the reason why you want to do this is because people will buy these midi files like if you if you stack up hundreds of midi files that's going to be super useful to a new producer who wants to just get cracking and make some beats. So right about now, as I'm making beats, I'm just saving my MIDI files. And then, you know, in a few months, I'm gonna have a bunch of MIDI files saved up and I can just put that into a big package and be like, hey, you know, if, if you wanna produce beats quickly, download these MIDI files. There's a bunch of chord progressions, a bunch of, you know, drum progressions and all that sort of stuff. And it will just help you out. So definitely think about this. This is another revenue stream that you could have apart from, you know, if you're just focusing on selling beats or whatever, you can actually make a lot of money by selling MIDI files because it will genuinely help solve a lot of people's problems and a lot of people will love it. So to recap, in order to save your MIDI, you need to go into the piano roll and then press control, shift and M and then save it. And then there you go, Bob's your uncle, you have saved your MIDI. Very easy, very, very straightforward. My question of the day to you is, what are your main revenue streams from music? I want you to tell me what your business revenue streams are, what you're looking at, what you're trying to do, because it will help me make content that will help you make more money with your music or look at other business revenue streams that you didn't even think about basically. So I wanna help with that. Let me know with your answers down below. And since you made it to this part of the video, I do have a free gift for you. Link is in the description. You can get some free loops there. But I do wanna let you know about my template, my R&B trap template, which will basically save you a bunch of time when it comes to mixing and mastering your beats. I use this for every beat that I create. And when I bring my instruments and whatnot in there, my beats already half mix. I only need to twiddle around a few knobs and basically everything's where it needs to be. It saves me a bunch of time and it just makes making beats a whole lot easier. If you wanna grab this, there's a link in the description or you can go to jcarterray.com forward slash R&B trap FL. 
it's really going to help you out a lot i highly suggest you grab this but if you don't want to grab it you don't need to grab it man you can make your own template and all that sort of stuff i just highly suggest you have a template full stop because it's going to make your work rate and your workflow faster so definitely do that if you have any more questions or any other tutorials that you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below i am super happy and excited to answer your questions and help you make better music so definitely leave those questions down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business online marketing peace out